the easiest way to start eating the Mediterranean way every day is to have some go-to ingredients at the ready to make it super simple. And that means finding some favorite superfoods to help you out and finding at least three ways to use them. We're gonna play a little game later in the video, but let's get a few things out of the way, like agreeing on what makes an ingredient a superfood. You probably have a pretty good idea of what that means, and that makes sense because it's really only this loosely defined category of foods that are good for you for one reason or another. The simplest way I think of them is that all superfoods are single ingredient powerhouses. They aren't manufactured, they don't resemble real food, they are real food, and they add really healthy nutrients to your everyday diet. So it really isn't a big surprise they're also all key ingredients in the Mediterranean way to eat every day. They all pack a meal with healthy qualities that add minerals, vitamins, compounds like antioxidants, fiber, fatty acids, which you might otherwise get from a pill. Sounds pretty simple, right? Other fans of superfoods could probably go into a lot of detail about each and every one of these incredibly healthy powerhouses. But I'm gonna keep it simple and give you my personal top 10 list in no particular order, except, of course, for number one, which is extra virgin olive oil. Number two, almonds. Three, whole grains. Four, tomatoes. Five, omega-3 seafood. Six, blueberries, seven, avocados, eight, lentils, nine, beans, and 10, water. So start thinking about your 10 favorite superfoods, and in a couple of minutes, I'll give you three ways I use each and every one of my top 10 ingredients to add a healthy boost to my own diet. You'll be surprised how easy it is to just start simple, and you'll suddenly find yourself enjoying really nutritious ways to eat every day in all sorts of fun ways. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. How come it's so hard to make adding superfoods to your diet a habit? And why don't more people eat the Mediterranean way every day, even if you're really dedicated to it? If you're like a lot of folks, it might boil down to three things. Number one, can you get it? If you live in an area that can't grow vegetables year-round, foods like dark green broccoli and blueberries, you can find them, but they might not be the best examples of freshness when they've traveled 6,000 miles to get to your dinner table. They've probably already lost a good share of the healthy nutrients that make them so good for you. Number two, does it fit in your budget? Even then, if you're lucky enough to source the best ingredients, even organic ones, for your family, they'll probably be pricey and they're not going to fit everybody's pocketbook. So you have to be choosy about exactly what ingredients might add the most bang for your buck. Number three, can you squeeze it into a busy day? The final challenge is finding the time to prep, cook, put things on the table that add to a healthy diet when you'd probably rather grab a quick dinner from the deli section of the grocery store or one of those fast food choices within a mile or two of your house after a really long day at work. How do we meet these challenges? First, work with what you can get. Are frozen or canned veggies from the grocery store a good option? You bet. Fresh is usually better, but not when it limits how often you can add veggies to your diet. Second, stock up when things are in season or on sale. Most pantry superfoods like whole grain rice and dried beans, they're pretty affordable. They last a really long time, and having them on hand makes it easier to make a good choice when you're thinking about what to have for dinner. Third, just start by simply adding a few things to your diet right away. Doesn't have to be a dramatic change. Just a handful of almonds or walnuts to nibble on instead of a bag of chips. And just an extra piece of fruit as a snack instead of a bag of mini cookies. And my favorite magic trick to immediately boost my diet with a shot of good for you? Splash a little olive oil over that store-bought soup or that fast food salad, or a simple piece of toast with grated tomato, like we do in Spain most mornings. Okay, so now here's the challenge. I'll tell you three ways I use each of these superfoods to eat the Mediterranean way every day, and you share yours in the comment section below. You might have a totally different top 10 list than I do, 
but I'll bet you're just as creative with how you use them. If you're just starting out, challenge yourself to think of just 10 ingredients and three ways to use each one more often. You're going to start to discover there are so many possibilities that it never gets boring. It can always be something brand new in the kitchen. So here's mine. Extra virgin olive oil. I drizzle it on toast. I drizzle it on salad or soup. And I fry my eggs in it. Almonds. I spread homemade almond butter on toast for breakfast. I roast them with extra virgin olive oil and rosemary for a party snack. And I just grab a handful straight from the bowl when I leave them out on the counter and I'm hungry. Whole grains. I love to make a big batch of whole grain rice at the start of the week, so it's ready to reheat in the microwave when I need a quick side dish with dinner or a part of a salad. Whole grain toast with grated tomatoes and extra virgin olive oil is a classic mid-morning snack in Spain, and I'm addicted to it. Oatmeal is one of my favorite go-to ways to start the day, and I usually throw in some nuts and seeds and dried fruit for even more flavor and nutrients and protein. Tomatoes, like I said, grated over toast is a real treat in the morning. One of my all-time favorite sandwiches, how could you enjoy a BLT without them? And finally, I throw a few cherry tomatoes into a little simple dinner salad every once in a while. Omega-3 rich seafood. Quick saute of salmon fillets. I make twice as much as I need and I save some for tomorrow's salad. Pairing a can of tuna and tomatoes for an easy peasy lunch. And is there any better way to use anchovies than in a quick homemade Caesar dressing? Blueberries. They are the perfect healthy plus in a smoothie. I sprinkle them on salad just to make it look and taste that much yummier. And morning oatmeal topped with blueberries? Of course, a perfect marriage. Avocados. Did I say BLT? I meant BLTA. Guacamole. Any questions? And of course, I'm toast for breakfast. Lentils. I love to make a pot of lentils every single week. It's so easy and so fast and really tasty. I fry them up as a snack and I sprinkle them on salad as a topping. Beans, of course, bean soup, bean stew, and salads. What about pork and beans? I could go on and on, but that's about it for beans. And water? I don't have three different ways to use water, so maybe this is a cheat, but it's so important to your diet to stay hydrated in order to stay healthy. Whether it's straight from the tap or a bottle of fizzy water, just go for eight glasses a day. So maybe I doubled up on a few examples of how I use superfoods, but that just means I'm layering more and more of the good stuff into the way I eat every day. So now it's your turn. I know you've got clever ways with your own favorite superfoods. So let's start a conversation and share your ideas to motivate others. I can't wait to hear what great ways you use superfoods too.